In this video, we'll talk about competitive ELISA. So competitive ELISA, also known as inhibition ELISA, is an assay to detect antigen in a quantitative fashion. So what does this assay measure? This assay measures the concentration of antigen by detection of signal interference. We'll talk about this in a bit more details. But what is the principle of this assay? As the name suggests, the principle is competitive binding. And what is the advantage of this assay? This is extremely sensitive and adequate for low levels of antigen in a patient sample. So let's look at the equipments that are required for this particular assay. So obviously you need a 96 well microwriter plate, some pipettes and other reagents, obviously the patient serum, and then up ELISA plate reader, which would detect the color development. So first step is to isolate the serum and incubate the serum with antibodies. So you want to know that, okay, whether this particular antigen is present or not. So obviously you create a monoclonal antibody against it and incubate the patient serum with that antibody. Now in this scenario, what would happen is if there is an antigen present in the patient serum, then the antibody would potentially bind to these antigens. Now, depending upon how much antigen is present in patient sample, there would be a uh, selective binding, right? So in this case, you can see there are antibody bound fractions and there are antibody which are free. Now the next step in the ELISA is to uh, coat the wells with a reference antigen. This is the same antigen that we want to detect from the patient sample. Now then we put the serum and antibody and this is where this particular ELISA is different from other ELISA. In other ELISA we just put the serum but here we uh, incubate with the antibody and then put the serum. So in the serum plus antibody fraction there would be bound and unbound antibodies. So the bound antibodies obviously cannot bind to the uh, reference antigens right because they are already preoccupied. Now there are unbound antigens. So these unbound antigens, so un unbound antibodies would go and bind to the reference antibodies. Now after a wash, these kind of bound fractions would be removed and the primary antibody would be binding to the reference antigen present in the well of the uh, ELISA plate. Then obviously secondary enzyme linked antibodies would be provided followed by chromogenic substrate which would provide a colored product. So obviously a color reaction would be developed in these wells and one can detect this color reaction. Now how this is quantitative in order to understand that let's take two situation. In first situation we can see a lighter color is developed in a second situation we can see a darker color is developed. A darker color is developed because there were more uh, substrate to product conversion and this is possible because there were more antibody bound enzymes. So from this particular scenario we can understand in case one there are more uh, bound antibodies and very less free antibodies. So as the free antibodies were less, not much enzymatic reaction could take place. But in the second situation, there were a lot of free antibodies and very less antigens. And that is, that is why a lot of antibodies has bound to the reference antigens, a lot of secondary antibodies has bound to the primary antibodies and a lot of color reaction happened. That's why a darker color is developed. So moral of the story, by looking at the color, we can understand whether the antigen is more or antigen is less. Now let's say you have a standard. Using the standard, you can get a sense of exact concentration of the antigen in the patient sample. So overall, what we learned, this particular competitive ELISA technique is pretty sensitive. It can detect very low level of antigen and it is highly quantitative. It can tell us not only whether an antigen is present or not, but it can also tell us how much is it present. Is it present at a low level or a higher level? So I hope this was informative and useful. Get more notes and flashcards in my Facebook page or Instagram page. Link is provided in the description. And you can support our channel using super thanks or even in Patreon. See you in next video.